<coughs> G'day gang, so got a couple of real juicy nuggets here for you. Um, well, I don't actually, they've been brought to me by other people, uh, like everything. So let me just start by showing my appreciation because basically everything that I bring to all of you is a collabor collaborative effort from all of you. Um, I've got a couple of links here. One's from uh, Nonna, one's from All Chemistry, and both of them are on these rail systems that are going on around the world. So most people know the California fires, Paradise and all that. Um, there's a new rail system that's going to be going through there from the coast of California to Vegas. But what most people don't realise is that this rail system is actually going to go under the ocean to China and Russia and link all three countries by rail. I've got the proof of this. Um, that's from Nonna. Have a look. They've got everything. The costing, the jobs, the employment, the, the where it's going, the, the whole lot. This is not speculation anymore. They are building a rail system that's high speed, that's going to go through China and Russia, under the sea to America, and across the coast of America. Fact. This is fact now. We can prove it. We've got all the logistics. It's all in the link. The other one, from All Chemistry, is a link to something called CLARA, all capitals C-L-A-R-A. -A. And what that is, is the Australian plan. Now have a quick, it's not a long read, have a quick look at it. In the first couple of paragraphs, they already use words like sustainable cities, compact cities, urban living, no cars required, da -de da it's all there. It's all straight out of the agenda playbook. But what you'll notice on that link is have a look at the bottom at the map of where this rail system is going to go through and tell me that that is not exactly the areas that have just burnt out in New South Wales, Victoria, um, I'm sure it'll go all the way up to Queensland so tell me I mean have a look at the map this thing goes from from Melbourne sort of city area straight north straight north into far east New South Wales cuts back across it, it takes the exact path of the fires how do they think that they're going to get away with burning this place to the ground putting in a high speed rail system and no one's going to notice. The other thing I found interesting is that this isn't going to be upgrades to existing cities, to existing CBDs. These are going to be new cities. New cities that they're going to jam us into that take up a footprint of 5,000 acres. Now 5,000 acres seems like a lot, but when you think about how much they're going to jam in there, how many more lots of 250,000 immigrants a year are going to come into this country? All of which are going to be housed. Because it will be part of immigration rules. I guarantee you they will incorporate this into immigration rules saying that if you want to come to our country now, you've got to live in one of our new smart cities. Um, it, it's all there. It's all there. I'll leave you the two links. Have a look. Tell me I'm wrong. It's all there. They are burning the areas that they want to put these rails into and yet people still think that these fires are natural or deliberately lit but for no purpose. There is a purpose, there's definitely a purpose and it's high speed magnet rail. The reason that they're going to put the rail in before they build the cities is because it's an easy way to transport materials. They can run materials in quite quickly. Um, you know, these are going to, these rails are going to be connected to the ports. That's one thing that it says in there. So if they're connecting them to the ports, they're going to ship in the steel. The steel is going, going to go straight, straight on the train. It's going to go straight down the line and they're going to start building these cities. The benefit that we have is they're mapping out the exact place that this rail line is going to run. So we know where it's going to go. All right. Now it's up to the people. Do you want to stop this or do you want to ride the train that's got a EMF frequency that will bloody melt your nuts off seriously so it's up to us I'm on the west coast we don't have any I can't see any planning for it coming here yet so they'll probably try and just will be the last fires and they will burn this place to the ground completely and run everyone to the east coast but we know where this role is going to go we know where the planning is we know where it's running through it's up to you now
do you want to stop it? Do you want to form groups? Do you want to go out there? Do you want to protest? Do you want to chain yourself to trees? Do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to watch them build this and force us into these cities or do you want to try and stop it? That's where we're at. The links are all in the description. It's all 100% fact. All right, it's no longer speculation. Is there going to be a roll through China and Russia and all the way across America? There is, there is. They've already done the costing, they've done the jobs, they've done the where the materials are coming from, they've got the whole plan of where it's going, what sort of rail line, what speed it's gonna travel at. It's all fact, it's all fact. So this speculation that we've been speculating on since the Paradise Fires, it's all coming to fruition now. We're seeing it, it is fact. It's happening, they're building it. They've already got the companies all on board that are gonna fund it, okay? And this all ties into why we've been bled dry, why we the people have no prosperity anymore. Because these massive companies that are charging us a fortune for our electricity, for our water, for all of our services, for our food, our transport, everything like that, companies like PG&E are doing cloud seeding, a part of these rail systems. This is why they've bled us dry. This is why they need many, many billions of profits every year combined across all corporations because they're, most of them are funneling money into these projects. Okay, this is why we are poor and they have all the money. It's to build all this stuff that's going to enslave us. So please check out the links, have a quick read. It's all there, it's all in the open. What do we do now? Let me know.